Hello, welcome to Maths with J. Here we want to find out the equation of the tangent to the circle at a given point. So it's a good idea to start off by just doing a little sketch. So looking at the equation of the circle, if we've got x squared plus y squared equals a number, then we know that that's the equation of a circle sent to the origin. So let's do that to start with. And then we're interested in the point 3, negative 7. So we've got a positive x value and a negative y value. And we're looking at the tangent at that point. We can see that point does along the circle because 3 squared plus negative 7 squared is equal to 58. So let's put the line in. So that's the tangent. So let's just label our origin. We could call the... Um, the point we're interested in, P. So this tangent just touches the circle. It doesn't cut it in two places, it just touches it in one place. And it's at the point 3, negative 7. And the really important thing about the tangent, you will know from your circle theorems, is that it is at right angles to the radius at that point. So let's just draw in the radius. So that's the radius, and the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So that's really important, because that's going to help us find the gradient of the tangent line. So because we want to find the equation of a tangent, we know that that's going to be of the form y equals mx plus c. That's the equation of a straight line. And we know that the m is the gradient. So that's the important thing to, uh, to work out first of all. So we want the gradient of the tangent. In order to find it, we're going to find the gradient of the radius line, of the line OP. So let's just enlarge that a bit. So we've got this line going from the origin down to the point P. And if we draw a triangle around that, so this is our radius line here. We know that to get from O down to here is going down 7, so negative 7, and then going across, because P is the point with coordinates 3, negative 7, that must be 3. So we now know the gradient of the radius line. So let's call that M1. So M1 is the vertical, so the minus 7, divided by the horizontal by 3. So that's the gradient of the line OP. Now what we want is the gradient of the tangent line. And we know that the gradient of the line that we want will be minus 1 divided by the gradient we've just found. So let's just write that down. So we are looking to find m for y equals mx plus c for the tangent. And that's equal to minus 1 over m1. So m1 is the gradient we've just found. So that's equal to minus 1 divided by minus 7 over 3. And by the rules of fractions, that's going to be minus 1 times negative 3 over 7. So we're just turning 7 thirds upside down. And so we know that a negative multiplying a negative is positive, and 1 times anything just leaves it the same. So we know that the gradient of a tangent is 3 sevenths. So we know that the equation that we want is y equals 3 sevenths x plus c. We know that it goes through the point p, so we know that it goes through the point 3 minus 7. So we can substitute in x is 3, when y is minus 7, and that will give us c. So we've got minus 7 is equal to 3 sevenths times 3 plus c. So rearranging that, c is equal to minus 7 take away 3 times 3 over 7. So we can put all of that over 7 to give us minus 7 times 7, so minus 49, minus 9, so that's equal to minus 58 over 7. So now we can write down the equation of the tangent. 
So we found C, so we just substitute it into y equals 3 sevenths of x plus C. So instead of a C, we're writing minus 58 over 7. And then we can check that that seems like a reasonable answer. If we look at our sketch, we can see that that line seems to have a fairly shallow gradient and it is a positive gradient, so that looks like the right sort of gradient. And minus 58 over 7, does that seem like a reasonable, reasonable place for a tangent to cut the, the y-axis? Well, we know that the circle's got equation x squared plus y squared is 58. So the radius of the circle is the square root of 58. And that will be somewhere between 7 and 8, wouldn't it? So 7 point something or other. And we can see that the tangent equation that we've got is going to cut the, uh, the y-axis at minus 58 over 7. And that's minus 8 point something or other. So that seems like the right sort of thing, given the sketch that we've got there.